I'm Margaret Fletcher. I'm a lecturer in international business at the Adam Smith Business School at the University of Glasgow. My work looks at the internationalisation of companies. Internationalisation has potentially high rewards, but it is risky. Uh, just due to the lack of knowledge um, about international economies, about markets and about different cultures that firms might not know. Um, so to compete internationally it's very important for firms to recognise um, what new knowledge they need and acquire that knowledge. Uh, so my um, research specifically looks at um, what triggers firms to recognise that we need new knowledge, um, where, what kinds of new knowledge they need where they can get that knowledge from, and how to learn to operate internationally and succeed um, internationally in world markets. So much of the knowledge that firms need, obviously if you're going international, is about local markets abroad, and that's fairly accessible, but there's other types of knowledge as well that companies um, need to look at, so um, be aware of um, how important are the uniqueness of their technologies and how they can use that for competitive advantage but also how to run an international enterprise. Um, so that's more general types of knowledge like how to enter different markets. So in different markets, you might need different ways to enter the market. Looking how to localize and um, compete locally in a local market, a local international market um, when you're over there. But also how to run um, the business internationally. So what um, processes um, you need um, to run internationally and compete globally. And a lot of these things are very specific to the firm, so they'll depend on the aims of the firm, the resources and the capabilities that the firms have. So experience is very important and we know that. Um, experience is very important for succeeding and in operating internationally, gaining that experience, reflecting on the experience and getting feedback. But also we found that firms really need to combine that with planning, so working out in advance what they don't know what new knowledge they need and acquiring that. What I've also found is, is that different kinds of knowledge will be needed at different times um, in a company's um, internationalisation. So there might be stuff that they need early on when entering a market, such as how to, the mar how to enter the market, how to get key business and institutional knowledge. But then as a firm grows and competes globally, then the focus might turn to things like how to run international business, how to delegate, how to have processes and systems to help support run an international business.